Hey there everybody, how's it going? Drag Rain back here again, and welcome back, finally, to Slime Rancher. I say finally because it has been a, uh, a really long time since I recorded the last episode, but it is finally version 6.0, it's finally out, it updated this morning, and unfortunately I'm going to be a bit behind when compared to some people with terms of uploading of this episode, as I, uh, you know, exams this week so we've got to focus on those but I'm just recording this in between a bit of study so that way I can record it and edit it later but yeah as you can clearly see I've moved the position where the face cam is to the top right just because I now noticed that with the addition of 7z rewards um, the information for that is on the top left but as you can see I am 7z reward club tier 18 which is if I remember correctly Dancing Mongoose 2. Uh, now that's the next one I can get which costs a lot and takes a while to grind for but I think for the moment I'll give you a tour of the ranch or how it looks now what with all the updates but I'll do the sleep until morning just so then you can see it a bit better. <laughs> And welcome back to the ranch. Now as you can see there's a fair few changes. Some decorations, and some color alterations. It's quite nice if I do say so myself. But yeah, there's a lot that has uh, changed with this. Thanks to the 7Z Rewards Club stuff, I am going to need some stuff, so I'm just going to back it up. So with the 7Z Rewards Club, um, the rewards you can get, it's in tiers obviously, sort of thing. And, um, it's quite good because it does allow you to grind up a lot of ports and figure out the best uh, ways to do that, you know, do all those sorts of things. And I have been growing a lot, and I do mean a lot of food, um, since I stopped. And this is what I've been doing to the... Wow, it is framey as shit now. So yeah, as you can see, I upgraded the overgrowth too, and you know, got some more stuff for in here. Why is it so framey? It hasn't been this framey before. So, yeah, it's so like we got all this stuff here. Right, right, I need those. Okay, there we go, that's kind of a bit better. I think it's just my computer warming up still. Because I literally just came back from shopping and, you know, turned this thing on and it's like, oh yeah, version 0.6 Slime Rancher update queued. And I'm just like, no, no, don't queue it, do it right now. And I did unlock this little area, which is Zedox. So yeah, as you can see, I have uh, one new... Um, Corral up and ready to go for when we bring in the new guys. But uh, I also do have three um, kitten hoops just because I need to grow some because I know about um, some of the new slimes eating meat. Uh, so I had to think about that. And then I have another silo over here. There we go. Now we had a decent frame rate. Out of there, that, that place makes it all choppy. So yeah, as I'm talking to you guys, I'm obviously dropping in a fair bit of food to each of my um, guys over here. And that's because of what I'm about to do, I'm going to be gone for now. Oh, and as you can clearly tell, I did go ahead and do some um, toy purchasing stuff. So some of these guys have toys in their enclosures. As you can see, they've got a lamp, and these little guys got a little honeybee. They don't really get anything for these guys now. Chuck all that in there. Oh, and um, while I was doing some farming, I meant to shoot some food into these little guys. But um, I accidentally shot the floor at one of them, causing it to turn into a tar, meaning I had to destroy it. So, yeah, we're down to just three of these guys now. And of course, as you can see, even this little cave area has gotten an update too. And 
some of the stuff I edited in myself, like this pillar, like these pillars, um, some, some of the decorations, uh, some of the decorations, that crystal thing up there, that crystal thing there, you know, that's stuff that I used, um, slime science to make and put them in here because I thought it looked really cool aesthetically, and it did. But other than that, there's not much else to do with that area. And of course in here we've had stuff growing and, you know, still got our four rock rads. Why is my ship going so slow again? So yeah, from what I can tell there actually hasn't been anything really to do with, um, Oh, right, right, I had those there, yeah, fuck. <laughs> I was just like, what's that noise? And of course, I did add in some um, phosphor rocks, just because I had to keep using phosphor and rock slime plots a lot, and I do mean a lot. So I put those guys in there so that I could um, cover the costs for certain things a lot quicker, and it certainly made it a lot easier. So I'm just going to go store these rather quickly and then we'll go out the front way and go towards where I think the way to get to the glass desert is. So yeah, be right back. Okay, and we're back. So um, also I probably completely forgot to mention this when I was showing you guys around. You uh, probably noticed a couple teleporter things. That's because in certain places in the um, Slime Rancher world it's a bit more difficult to get to them. So what I did was I put uh, teleporters in key places so that I didn't have to go all the way back to a certain place or all the way forwards, you know, just make it easier and give me somewhere where I could do it a lot quicker. And as you can see, the front area I also put a few decorations in just cause, you know, make it look nice. Some of the, the walling, the uh, archway and a bit of the path work is all because of the 7Z Rewards Club which, um, thankfully, now that I know, upgrades those at a certain tier. Hey, um, yeah, I think I'm going to pick up a few quantum plots on the way if I can, because in some of the pre-release screenshots there was a, um, a few things sitting there, a few statues sitting there which had the quantum plots put in them, I think. I say I think, because I'm not sure if I'm remembering it correctly, you know. Oh, also, um, while I was off screen, more or less grinding for things, I did get to the um, legendary treasure cracker, which was pretty cool, because that means I got some stuff that I couldn't get normally. Thank you, Quantum. Oh, there's a few puddles in here. So it's not that way. So yeah, I did get the um, legendary uh, treasure pod cracker, which was kind of cool because that meant I could um, go off and do stuff. What? No, oh, no, no. Now that I, I just remembered something. I have a teleporter to set up to set up to come here, and I didn't use it. It's the um, gray teleporter that I have set up in the grotto. I have a. Um, Gray teleporter set up. And that gray teleporter is to come to the area directly in front of the area that was underdeveloped. But I am a twat, so I completely forgot about it. I did um, also find the um, hidden island, which you get the legendary pod for um, the mustache uh, I'm not sure what it's called exactly but the mustache fashion pot I think it was I found that and I honestly just said to myself wow it's a Markiplier Island because seriously all the slimes had mustaches and everything on them and it just looked so like if Markiplier kept playing it that's what he'd be doing you know that's that's what his stuff would look like and yeah it's unlocked. Ah, oh, this is going to be so cool. Because not only is it a bit of an expanse to the ancient ruins, it's probably the gateway to the glass desert. God damn, it looks nice. Oh, hey, Trishpod. 
open sesame. Please have something cool, like a blooper. Blooper. Advanced Gordo Snare. I forgot you could do that. Yeah, the Gordo Snares was um, something they put in version 5.1. Never built one, never used one, but time to go forward with the slang. Here we go. Holy shit, this is cool. Look at it. It's like some Indiana Jones level of shit. Aha, I was right. I was right. <laughs> that still sounds so adorable. Ah, crap, I'm missing one. And I'll be right back because I have to go get myself another quantum plot. Have any of you seen a plot? A quantum plot? Kind of looks like a plot. It's quantum. Damn, I got a Markiplier on the brain. One thing they revealed um, during the development stuff was a size reference of the vast desert. It is massive. Like pretty much half the size of the current area that's available to explore. There's a giant teleporter. That is cool. Also, yes, I do have a big can of energy drink. Uh, there we go. Yeah. So I do have the uh, can of, like a big can of energy drink off to the side just because I woke up like 7 o'clock this morning and been doing a shit ton of study and I feel so freaking tired. But other than that, welcome to the glass desert which has an aurora borealis? This is the skybox, oh yeah. That's one of the things they were working on in the update, the sky, oh my god, that is beautiful. Like, look at that, that is absolutely beautiful. Not just the formations of the glass stuff, but the moon being that size, and look at the stars and everything, and the aurora borealis over that way. That is amazing. Now let's find us some new slimes. So the new slimes are the dervish slimes. It's either dervish or dervish, can't remember. The Tangle Slimes, the Fire Slimes, and the Mosaic Slimes. Oh, here's one of the new guys, Dervish Slime. Yeah, they can do that. Jeez. That's terrifying. <laughs> At least you can blame these guys for um, certain occurrences here in the Slime Rancher world. I'm just gonna grab like three or four of these dudes. It's interesting, because I... It's night, and there's nothing out, and you kind of expect that, because in a typical desert at night, everything is very, very cold. But look at that, look at that aurora borealis, that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so anyway, during the um, night, a desert is actually a lot colder than it is during the day, meaning you, if you are doing desert exploration, you not only have to think about um, what's happening in the. Oh, you can't take that up, that's interesting. You only not have to think about what's happening in the day, but you also have to think about um, what you're going to do at night. Because at night, it can get insanely freezing for a person. Ah, we got another one of these. Okay, so that is one of those. So that. What goes in there? Why does it go in there though? So it looks like there's a, another thing of put certain plots in certain place to unlock something more. So we know there's one for a tangle slime over that way. Which is kind of cool to be perfectly honest. Oh shit, that looks cool. I want to know how to make those. If you can, because like having one of those on the ranch would be amazing. Oh, here's one of the new slimes. Uh, one of the new resources, the painted hen. That's so cool. Whoa, what the hell? What did I just stumble into? Do I just, um... Hello? I didn't know we were going, um, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom just now. Sorry. <laughs> like, seriously, anyone else thinking Temple of Doom right here? Because I'm thinking Major Temple of Doom. 
Oh, it did that because this is the end game area. Tank auto. Oh shit. What the hell? Okay. What the hell? It's like it's literally raining stars. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. <laughs> Holy shit! I, I think it's safe to get the fuck out of here. Yep, no, nope, no, nope, can't do anything getting the hell out of it. <laughs> it's beautiful and all, but shit's gonna kill me if I stay here too long. At least try to kill me. So yeah, this is one of the new resources, the painted hand. <laughs> Looks kinda cool. Hello, we've got another hen area. Ah, so that's probably why they built this shit underground. To avoid this chaotic scene here. Ooh, okay, we're going up that way. If I can figure out how to get over that way, that is. I guess that's a, um, timed event. It happens at certain times of the day. But goddamn, is it terrifying. Like, literally, just casually walking around, strolling to this place, bam, there's a fucking firestorm going on. <laughs> firestorm, meteorites, friggin' what looks like falling explosive stars. Crystal slime. Yeah, that's a definite crystal slime. Oh, hey, there's a slime key door. Sweet. Here's another one. A chicken. Oh, hen hen. Sorry, I should probably call them by what they are. Ooh! Ooh, this is pretty. So, we know of a crystal and a tangle, which means this area might have all the ones for the slimes that haven't been released yet. Oh, okay, we've got another one of these guys here. Anything on this side? No. I'm just like checking everywhere because you never know where another one of these um, claw uh, statues is. They can be literally anywhere. I honestly hope I do not get lost, because that'd be oh great, a danger zone. Fire slime. Oh that is adorable. So that thing survives off of ash, huh? How does that work? Is the incinerator gonna get more use now? Or have we got a new thing we can build instead of a corral? I'm gonna suck you up before you manage. Yeah, it's kind of like a fire, but it's like a puddle slime consistency. It makes me think we've definitely got something more to the incinerator now. That's <laughs> so cute. Yep, okay, definitely need to go up there at some point. Okay, we've got something down there which we have to explore. Okay, is there something over this way? Just judging from the look of this place, there should be something over this way, but there isn't. There's full on ancient ruins in here too. Look at all the pillars around us. This is... This was definitely the hub of Slime Ranch's ancient civilization. Aha, there is the mosaic border. Right up there. Okay, so yeah, I was just sitting here and this started to happen. Which means that it is at key points in time that fire storms start- OH JESUS! Why? What the hell are those? Can you, can you back them up? Okay, so you can't back those up. Yeah, I wish you could. What are these? They look like a tangle slime. Yeah, those cacti look like tangle slimes. Ah! Huh. Okay, so now I have like two choices. I can go that way or I can go down the hole. Because that guy ain't doing shit right now. I'm going down the hole. Where am I? Hello? Mosaic slimes! I'm getting all these guys. Oh, look at, look at that little um, icon for his little hair. How's it going? Blueprint, please. Ooh, cocoa slime lamp. Sweet, another new one. Also, yes, I've been collecting the slime lamps and I have them all around my ranch. 
I have no shame. They look amazing. Hey, look, another one. Ah, right, right, that's happening. Going back in. Oh, okay, so yeah, now that's finished. So I figured out exactly who's getting replaced, or what's getting replaced and everything. So I am going to be getting rid of... Oh, that's cool. I am going to be getting rid of um, the two pink hybrids that I have on the ranch. Just mainly because I think I can't really do much with those little guys anymore. They were there for um, during my slime science sort of upgrade quest. So I could um, get the treasure pot unlockers. So yeah, that's how you get them by the way. You've got to get the achievements for slime science if you want to get the better treasure pot uh, crackers. Those slimes are going. And then so I was, wait, did I just do a big ass loop? I just did a big ass loop. I'm going to grab me another double slime. So yeah, those guys are going, and then um, I'm going to get rid of one of the gardens that I have on the ranch, just so that way I can put up whatever the fire slimes need, because I still don't know what they need. Well, let's go explore over this way. Because something tells me there's something good in here. Let me up, let me up, let me up. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I can't get up there that way. <laughs> Looks like I gotta go around. Oh, there's something over here. What's this one lead? Jeez, this place is like a friggin' maze and a half. I'm guessing that way leads to death. That way looks like it leads to death. But there's something up that way. Oh yeah, that place leads to death. Another danger slime area. What the hell? How many things are in this new area? I'm going up here. But there's something that tells me. Yeah, there we go. There's pod. Knew there was something up here. Ooh, coil grass. That sounds kind of cool. Nothing else really in here that I need to look at? Nah, not really. Still beautiful music for this area. I want to get up there. Yeah, there's another slime uh, slime statue up there. What's in here? Aha, uh -huh, here's another one. There's a dervish slime one. So now we know where three of those are. Well, four technically, because there's one up there. Jeez, where the hell am I going? <laughs> it is a desert. You do get lost very quick. Ah. Well, I found the next area that's going to be updated. Ta-da! Look at this. Meaning there's still more to come with this. Holy crap. This place is already massive Slime Rancher devs, and I appreciate that, because this is amazing. Like, this place is beautiful. I still want to find another Fire Slime, and a... Jump over that. Now, this is very Temple of Doom right now. <laughs> Wait, am I? Am I below the hole? I am. Huh. That's neat. Ah, crap baskets. All the time for me to continue exploring outside, I choose now. Good job, me. Oh, oh, you know what? Let's, let's make this fun. We'll go through the area which has a dangerous line posting. While there's a giant fire death storm going on, might I add. Do we have to go that way or can we go up this way? Because I'm going to go up this way. Ah, yeah. That hurt. There's something over here I want to have a look at. Ah, another slime statue. That's cool. Ah, this one's a mosaic slime. Damn, that looks funky. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's a legendary pot down there. I want to go in here. Yeah, it's like a little oasis. Ah, I think it is an oasis. Just need to put something in. Ah, I'm just gonna open this anyway, because it's a legendary pot of sugar. Palm sprout. Yeah, I'll take that. One, two, three. 
Okay, I think I may figure out how to get this working. I think it's connected to the mosaic slime statues. Because currently I've found two mosaic slime statues, but yet any other kind of slime statue there's only one of. Which means it could be a thing of uh, three mosaic slime plots to unlock what I think is a fountain, which may in turn unlock... Oh, come on, there's another one over there? Freak. I wonder this slime. So many friggin' um, slime things. Oh great, another male thing. Yeah, that's one thing they also included in a previous update, which I'm pretty sure was called Letters from Home. It gives you backstory on the uh, character you're playing as, and it's like, it's sad at some points, but also it's kind of like friends talking to each other, you know, friends trying to reconcile sort of thing. I won't give too much away, because like, there's a lot to it. Back to my ranch run quickly. Wait, do I have a... I have a teleporter that I can set up here. Yes, good job, good thinking. Good answer, good answer, yeah. So I'm going to go back to my ranch, set up the area for the mosaic slime, the dervish slime, and the fire slime. Because then that way, I'm also going to need to set up a teleporter to bring me back to the front. Uh, bring me back to an area in here. Which I should probably figure out where I'm going to put it actually. Still want to explore. I get so sidetracked when they do an update. Like I say I'm going to do one thing and then I go off and do a completely different thing then get back to the other thing day insanely later. At least now I know about the three mosaic slime statues and what they do. Crap baskets, how do I get back up there? Got it. Quick tip for anyone who's wondering how to use jetpack. If you want to get up higher, or well, get to a certain place, don't look at the place, look at beneath you, because it will constantly try to push itself up from the thing you're looking at beneath you, which is why I always do that. Very, very dangerous, this place. Definitely see why they made it the end game area. Fire slime for a minute. Okay, let me get out of here. Time to get the hell out of here. There's a tower over there. Hi, mosaic slimes. What are you doing? Oh, you're going for the rock pots. I think I might make like a mosaic crystal slime thing. Oh, yeah, it's a dervish plot. That's cool. I'm taking that with me. There's another one over there, too. Fine. You have fun, little dude. Little big dude now. Jeez, how do they survive in this place? Shit, there's no places. Unless that one. No, that's not one. Alright, oh, in gadget view, you can actually see where I'm going. Oh, no, you can see it that way too. Sweet, I know where I'm going. Okay, alright, let's figure this out. There should be this for gadgets around, but there doesn't seem to be. Oh, there's one. There's another. There's another. Wait, this is down? Crap, I really haven't explored this place. Oh, the violet teleporter. Warp depot. Sweet. Came from that way last time I checked. Now that I think about it, it's actually probably a good idea that I put Violet in here because of the um, dervish slimes being their coloration. And also with regards to the slime rancher theory, I have said multiple times it's coming soon. It is coming soon. I just have to go back through old footage to find certain key parts, you know, and then put those into motion. Uh, put those into the thing. So yeah, I am giving you guys that warning. It is going to use old footage of mine, um, which some of you may not like, but it's just how I have to do things, given the fact that I can't do it all on a um, on a new sort of slime crunch uh, game area, just because of how much that would, how long that would take to do, and you know all that. But yeah, the glass desert. Amazing, so far, and I just need a. Ah, uh, I just want to like go back in there so much now, like just go there constantly, cause it is beautiful. Oh, that is really pretty. Look at that, that is amazing. I know they said they were doing updates to the skybox thing, but didn't expect something that beautiful. I mean, come on. 
I think they do need to fix something here though. <laughs> they definitely need to fix something here. I, I wonder if you guys can tell me what it is. Yeah, definitely happy I installed that teleporter over there. Yeah, I think I'll do a mosaic crystal slime. Thank you, teleporter. I wonder how much dervish plots are worth. Polish plot. I have 21,000, so hey. Incinerator, don't need it, burn it. Ah, okay, I really do need to figure out what you can put the fire slimes in. I think they're either going to be a thing similar to the puddle slimes, we have to put them in a sort of unique area. Also, my puddle slimes have a rubber duck. Yay! <laughs> Love that little noise. Oh yeah, also, um, as I was saying about the slime uh, lamps, yeah they are. All my different slime lamps lighting up the path and surrounding area, I have a few of them because Holy shit bollocks. Damn, that's actually a good pl plot price. Yeah, I wish they would, like, in the final thing, they just mess with us and like, haha, guess what, there's more, and just put a whole, like, another one of these on there. Oh wow, these things are worth 82 at a base. Need how much? Alright, let's go... Grab a... Yep, actually I'm gonna double check see if I am right about the um, fire slimes. So, be right back. So it turns out my usual source for information on this doesn't know because I just remembered this is like the starting release of it. Which means I'm gonna test both my theories for what a uh, fire slime needs by building an incinerator first and then seeing if I have to put it in a um, in a... Oh, right, those are done. Yeah, I'm gonna need to do those two. Then putting it in a corral. Try and incinerate it first. Thanks. Okay, yeah, no, maybe I need that to get the ashes. So what if I... I'm going to demolish this too because I don't really need it. Um, corral. And it on it, obviously. There's a good thing about doing grinding before this. Floor collector. Just Yeah, look at that. They are puddle slime-like. Yet, I am going to grab one of these. Let's see if they updated this to give you ashes. They didn't. They did not. How did we get ash? Do we, do we like shoot something at them? Oh shit, I'm already confused. Uh, maybe, maybe if it's, I, if, it, if it's a thing where if I build up enough stuff from the incinerator, what the hell? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, no. Come to me, little dude. Come to me, little dude. Shit. <laughs> okay, yeah, I definitely don't know how to feed these guys. Or what to keep them in for that matter. Yeah, mosaic slimes can go in here. Okay, those are rock and red. Great. Wait, what are mosaic slimes again? They're meat eaters. Oh no, they're veggies. Right, tangle slimes are the meat eaters. This is not good, because I don't know what the fire slimes need to survive. I just put these here just because I knew I'd be having to build um, some other stuff at the later points. Does the fire slime need to survive? Though? That question is going to be like in the back of my brain the whole time I'm playing this now. Slime ball hoop. Okay, yeah, no, it's not in there. Be back for you little dudes in a sec. I'm just going to keep that there now that I think about it. Oh shit, you guys are out of food. Hey, put stuff in here for you. How, how's there only four plots? What the hell happened? Sweet, you guys can sit there for now. Just no major tornadoes. Shit. <laughs> as soon as I say that, as soon as I say that, just putting this fruit in the um, rad quantum 
area so that way they don't just disappear on me. You know, keep them in one area and not have to worry about constantly going back and forth and grabbing them and whatnot. Those five in there and then the rest in here. Okay, little mosaic slimes, I need a plot from from three of you. Wait, is that you guys doing that? That's you guys doing that, you little dicks. Yeah, that's pretty and all, but you're also going to cause me a hell of a headache having to dodge those things now. And those ones aren't born. What are you? Does it hurt if I go on, on you? Nope, I just despair. Jesus! You guys are little hooligans! Why, why did I say hooligans? I, I could have said any other thing. Well, tech, file, well, depot, install that here. And install that there. Aha! Uh -huh. Right. So, the way I have to go is through here. I'm cutting that so close. Alright, so, what is that block? Or one up there, one in the underground area. I'm just gonna get up there. Bam! It's number two. Which means, yes, it, I am right, it is to do with that fountain. Reviving an area around you. Seriously, still no tangle slimes? What about that? Bam. It's a tangle slime! Aha! Got one. That is beautiful. That is actually really beautiful. Oh shit! Is a um. Tabby slime as well. Look at that. <laughs> when they stand on the edge of it, that's cool. Okay, that's just more water, not in ancient water, which allows me to revitalize these areas. Which is gonna be a lot harder now that I think about it because of how many areas there is like this. Oh, shit. Well, they're kinda cute. Impressive slime runger devs. Impressive. Damn, I was hoping it's like you get some ancient water out of that. Be able to cut it around. Maybe that's why the slime gate is there. Uh, geez, I don't think sometimes. Oh, that's cool. Just like flying over that. So, yeah, I do know now that I'm going to need a lot of meat and a lot of fruit, as per usual. Thankfully, due to that off-screen um, farming I did, I should have enough for both the Tangle Gordo that we now know of, and the um, Mosaic Gordo. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb to the top of that, because something tells me there is something up there. So the only way to do that is with some hardcore parkour. 
It is actually a nice little feature to know that you are trying to bring life back to the glass desert with the little oasis patches. And we're going post-apocalyptic weather. Great! Today's forecast of the glass desert calls for some post-apocalyptic weather with fire geysers and raining meteorites. Always fun. How's this desert has two different times overlapping? Oh, I think I'm high enough to get over there now. Yep, high enough. I think this is an oasis area. Ah, no, I was wrong. It's the start of an oasis area. It looks like we need dervish blocks. Yeah, there's one there, and I know there's one in the hole down there. There's quantum slimes here, what the hell? Interesting. So quantum... Anyway, so there's one there, one in the hole. Where's the other dervish slime statue? Hey, quantums. Ah. Yeah, I, ne I never came over this one. Oh well, at least I know I now need three dervish pots. And then I can revitalize this area. I am actually just gonna go back to the ranch right now and drop off the tangle slimes. And probably in this episode, because I have been recording for a little while and kind of do stuff as well today. Alright, let's go get the Tangle Slime situated in a new area. Means they are going to replace our uh, pink slimes here. The pink tabbies. I One, two, three. And there's our three Tangle Slimes. Right, so I still have no earthly idea how on earth to get the fire slimes to remain stable in wherever they're meant to go. Because I have not figured out if it's a. Um, if it's a new type of thing I have to unlock, or if it's something that I have to upgrade, you know, it's one of those annoying situations. Oh shit! I don't want those guys to go in feral. And yeah, as you can see, I'm clearly stocked up for the, um, Tangle and the, qu uh, not Quantum, the Mosaic Gordo just because I knew that was going to happen. But yeah, that's all I have time for recording-wise at the moment. So anyway, this is Drag Rain signing out. I'll catch you guys next time for some more of the update to Slime Rancher. And this is going to take me a while to get everything done. So yeah, catch you guys next time.